In today's transformation coaching session, you will learn how stress can negatively affect your transformation results. A common theme we see amongst those with high stress levels is a lack of results when trying to change their body. Stress holds us back from being the best we can be. In a very similar way to poor sleep, which we speak about in another video, stress can put the brakes on progress, even if your training and nutrition are spot on. Now, stress is a burden on the body and can leave us massively fatigued and also run down. That's when it can put a halt on any body composition changes we're looking for. If you are stressed, you may experience a number of negative symptoms, such as increased blood sugar levels, which can lead to insulin resistance, which in turn is associated with storing more body fat around the waist. Yeah, now insulin allows the cells in the body to use glucose. Glucose is a fuel which comes from carbs. If the body becomes insulin resistant, it finds it harder to use that glucose as fuel and it's stored as body fat. Another problem can be your immune function drops so you get sick more often. It can even cause digestion issues. I wouldn't have even known that one. <laughs> you may have difficulty falling asleep, which in turn makes you fatigued, feeling lethargic most of the day and it'll have you reaching for the sugar, the caffeine, and no mood at all to train and the cycle continues and continues and continues. Yeah, it also elevates your cortisol levels, which we want to discuss in a little more detail. The cortisol hormone is released in stressful situations as well as adrenaline, which raises your heart rate and blood pressure to make your body more alert. It does this by making glucose available in the bloodstream to aid in the energy needed in a fight or flight response. Now think about it, back in caveman days, this was important as you had in mind other things roaming around that could hurt you. So your fight or flight response needed to be sharp. Today's lines can be anything from your boss, smartphones, news, social media channels, anything that causes an increase in hormone to be released. Your body can't tell the difference or doesn't care. It's reacting to your response. Now, cortisol is not all that. In fact, it is responsible for many of the life-sustaining functions. It helps regulate immune function, repairs tendons, ligaments, and may even accelerate fat loss. The problems are when we see cortisol is too high, the hormone is elevated for long periods of time. So what can you do to help with your stress levels? You can eat little and often and keep your blood sugars regulated. So don't starve or fast as this puts additional stress on the body. Starving or fasting will only heighten the depletion of glycogen, breaking down the muscle tissue and put more demand on the adrenal glands. This is another reason why cutting out too many calories and not eating enough is detrimental to weight loss. It acts as an additional stressor on the body and can totally mess up your metabolic rate. Now, exercise is one of the best ways to reduce stress. It allows your body to release endorphins, aka feel-good hormones, such as serotonin and dopamine, and these help improve your mood. Now, if we know it can be hard to start exercising mm -hmm. if you're tired and stressed, but you will feel a lot better, we promise. It's important to listen to your body though, so not every day needs to be flat out. This is why we also include gratitude and mindfulness in all of our wealth method plans as it helps to deal with stress. It's proven you can't be grateful and stress at the same time. So you should start each day by listing three things you are thankful for, be grateful for what you have rather than focusing on what you don't. Now mindfulness also allows you to be more in the present moment and not anxious about the future or worried about the past. So let's recap. Stress can put the brakes on our transformation progress. Some of the symptoms are storing body fat, especially around the middle, a drop in immune system function so you get sick more regularly, digestive issues, difficulty sleeping, constant fatigue, and an increase in the cortisol hormone. Combat this by exercising, eating regularly, and practicing gratitude and mindfulness. That's it. Easy peasy. Lemon and squeezy. <laughs>